Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, The Saffron Box. I'm Yamini Sharma and today I'll be talking about the retrogression of Saturn. So every year Saturn becomes retrograde for about a period of four and a half months. So roughly it translates to about 140 days. And this year Saturn will become retrograde on the 17th of June. And this retrogression is going to last till the 4th of November. So this makes it a period of about four and a half months when uh, Saturn is going to be in retrograde motion within the sign of Aquarius. So currently it is transiting through, it is going through uh, the sign of Aquarius and within the sign of Aquarius it will become retrograde. So this time around it is not changing signs, it is not going back to the previous sign. Within the sign of Aquarius the retrogression is happening right there is no uh, major conjunction also which is happening so saturn is not going to be uh, meeting up with any other planet in the sign of aquarius there is no planet which is going to touch aquarius as such so saturn sitting in its own sign that to the mole tricona sign of aquarius that is kumbh uh, will be uh, obviously powerful it is currently uh, at a position of strength because it is transiting through its own sign that to its moon tricona sign and when it becomes retrograde the cheshta bell increases right so whenever a planet becomes retrograde it means it is coming closer to us closer to the perigee and when you see the motion of the planet once it is closer to the perigee obviously the uh, effect increases Right, so whatever it wants to do, we call it the chase table. Whatever it wants to do, it is going to uh, get more power within itself to deliver it, right? So it becomes more strong. So that is about the retrogression part. Now, if you look at the uh, planet Saturn as such, Saturn is, uh, you know, we all know any astrology enthusiast, anybody who is a seeker in the field of astrology understands that Saturn is the ultimate uh, influence, ultimate power uh, giving authority, right? So it is Avashyam Bhavi. Avashyam Bhavi means whatever has to happen, Saturn has to bless it. So Saturn holds a lot of power. Saturn holds the key to a lot of events in our life. No major event can happen without the blessings of Saturn. Saturn is also the uh, planet of karma, the planet of justice, of discipline, of uh, perseverance. Remember Saturn, you know, when we uh, look at the story of Saturn, Saturn is, a, uh, is working with one leg, right? So Saturn is, uh, Saturn moves slow because it has only one leg. It, it is limping, right? So once it is limping obviously the speed comes down so it uh, makes everything go a little slow that is shane 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 means slowly slowly like shani so like shani means the way shani limps and walks slowly it walks right so that was about saturn so here when saturn becomes retrograde whatever it wants to do it wants to give it to you, but Saturn retrogression also means understanding, reassessing or redoing things, redoing the karma, redoing the responsibility or duty which we owe. So whenever Saturn becomes retrograde, it, it, it is a, you know, a very a good chance to go back and finish whatever is to be finished. So whatever duties you have, whatever karma is pending towards something, this is a wonderful opportunity where you can just go back and uh, take care of those things. Because under unless you finish the task which you have on hand, you finish the karma which you have on hand, you will not be able to move ahead. And Saturn being in the sign of Aquarius, which is its own Mool sign, which I mentioned here, uh, Saturn is, uh, you know, when we see the Kalpurush Kundli, when we see the natural horoscope, Saturn 
uh, governs the house of uh, gains, the house of income, the house of uh, material gain, that is the 11th house. The 11th house also has by default the Aquarius uh, sign also falling in it. So here what happens, uh, the idea of gains, the idea of, uh, you know, materialistic gains, income, all that growth in life, all that is also getting an impetus. But you also have to see where the sign of Aquarius is falling in your chart. So as per the ascendant, as per the lagna, you have to see where Aquarius falls in your chart, in which house. That is where Saturn is transiting through. And we will see in this video as to how or rather what kind of a karma do you need to focus on? Do you need to repair? And then, you know, it's like it's like a U-turn. We have to go somewhere, but sometimes we forget something. Or maybe there is something which is unfinished, something which is more urgent, without which you cannot go on a long journey. Imagine going on a long journey. So you, you lock up your house, you do everything, you uh, close down the, you know, electricity, uh, 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 points the uh, water connections everything you shut down things you lock down your doors and windows but something is left right so it could just be uh, on the lighter side if i have to take an example it could just be um, you know some water water tap which is left leaking or it could be some appliance which uh, has just been left which switched on and you're out for say a month's time so imagine the amount of wastage and the risk which it will uh, give, the risk which the house stands at. If there's some electricity point which is working, which is exposed like, you know, an iron or anything like that. So you go back, you remember that, you know, there's something which is pending, there's something which you've forgotten to do. You go back, you switch it off, you check everything, you reassess, you re-check uh, everything around the house and then you start back on your journey. So that is what Saturn is asking you to do. So as long as you're on the right path, it's completely fine. But in case there's something pending, Saturn gives you this golden opportunity to go back and correct things. Remember, it is, though Saturn represents iron, you know, it is a very hard uh, substance and Saturn itself is uh, supposed to be a malefic and uh, whatever it does it's very uh, you know concrete and very solid but at the same point in time Saturn is also the planet of humility so whatever you want to do whatever you know it gives you a lot of margin and the, you know Whenever the retrogation happens, the margin is for four months plus four months is a long time for anybody to go back and correct their actions. Right. So in this video, I'll talk about the uh, 12 uh, rising signs, the 12 lagnas, ascendants, and what is going to be the effect of Saturn's retrogression uh, on all of us. Also do remember that uh, Saturn is becoming retrograde in the nakshatra of uh, Shatabhisha. Shatabhisha nakshatra is owned by Rahu. Saturn, while it becomes retrograde, or rather while it is in the sign of Aquarius, is going to be aspecting Rahu also. Rahu is in the sign of Aries. So with the third aspect of Saturn, Rahu is also getting aspected. So some amount of energy is getting transferred there also on the Nakshatra Lord. And the Nakshatra Shatpisha itself is, you know, it represents a hundred healers. Shatpishak, hundred healers. It is a Nakshatra which talks about healing. So as I mentioned, whatever I said till now, you know, healing, correction. So healing does not necessarily mean you know, getting hurt and then getting healed. Healing means corrective action. So that you don't, have, you know, sustain further damage. So that is what this energy is going to be about. Right. So I'll talk about the uh, 12 signs. And before I go ahead, in case you haven't subscribed 
or you are a first time visitor to my channel and you like the content i would request you to press the subscribe button and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well now i'll go ahead with all the 12 signs so starting with aries uh, if you have an aries ascendant or an aries lagna then saturn is uh, going to be retrograde in your 11th house 11th house of gains 11th house of social circles your friendships your networks your elder siblings your wish fulfillment right so here saturn urges you to focus on the real stuff remember saturn is a planet of no frills so it will make you cut down or rather reevaluate the kind of connections which you have the kind of friends which you are roaming around with so uh, you may like to use the right uh, judgment or uh, you know use your uh, judgment use your uh, uh, skills to figure out who's your true friend you may be mingling around with a lot of people but true friendships will be uncovered true connections people who really matter so you may have to reassess and reevaluate these things also with regards to your ambition saturn may set the limits to a practical level so you may be you know especially for the aries ascendant uh, saturn was earlier in the 10th house and then it moved on to the 11th house so gains are coming and a lot of wishes might be getting fulfilled provided saturn is in a good position in your birth chart also you're running the right dashas also but here your ambitions your wishes may be cut down to size you may be um, you know circumstances may ask you to uh, reevaluate what you actually want so reassess your desires reassess your long term goals your friendships your circles and your relationship with your elder sibling also then moving on to the next sign of taurus so if you have a taurus ascendant your taurus rising taurus is the first sign in your uh, birth chart saturn is going to be retrograde in your 10th house for a period of 140 days from the 17th of june till the 4th of november which is a long period and saturn for the taurus ascendant is a yoga karak graha is a yoga karak planet it owns the uh, trikona that is the 9th house as well as the 10th uh, house so yoga karak planet is the one which owns a kendra and a, a trikona bhav so saturn becomes a very important planet for you and saturn becoming retrograde in the 10th house may want you to go back and reevaluate or uh, redo the way you work or the way you're going about your uh, career your profession your karma what kind of karma are you generating even if you're not working right so for some people some people may not be working some people may be staying at home and doing some other things rather than being uh, you know uh, engaged in the profession so it may want to uh, it may ask you to reassess what you're doing the way you go about your things the kind of karmas which you're generating right what kind of projects are you uh, taking up your relationship with your bosses your relationship with your superiors also will have to be reassessed by you so this is a good opportunity to see the methods the techniques which you're using at work the way you're performing at work the way you are aligning things around yourself around your work around your uh, livelihood that is something which saturn will ask you to reassess so a good opportunity to uh, redo things over there also uh, this is a good time to uh, reassess your relationships uh, with your bosses with your superiors right so for some if saturn is not very well placed in your chart this could be a time where you know some kind of coldness or some kind of uh, uh, difference 
distance can come between you and your bosses also right so you need to handle things carefully in your workspace also move on to the next sign of gemini so if you're a gemini uh, rising or a gemini lagna person then in your case saturn is becoming retrograde in the ninth house ninth house of your father ninth house of your mentors your teachers your long term vision ninth is a trikona bhava so it also has a lot of effect on your uh, fortune ninth house is a bhagyasthan so your fortune your luck your long term journeys long travels long distance travels so here saturn may ask you to reevaluate your uh, relationship with your uh, mentors with your teachers you may like to do a course correction about your future plans the kind of uh, subjects you are studying if you are a student what are your future plans so this is a time to uh, take the help of your uh, guides of your mentors your elders and understand you know uh, take guidance from them understand how what kind of life you want and then uh, make course correction so for some it may be the kind of subjects they are studying for some it may be the kind of ideology which they follow for some it may also be the kind of uh, you know uh, practices they follow with regard to the government with regard to higher authorities so this is a good time to do course correction over there some long term journeys long distance journeys which uh, were not possible to allow may happen now but remember saturn is also the eighth lord in your case so some kind of obstacles can also come here so all this can be achieved but there are there are going to be difficulties there are going to be uh, moments of you know moments where you have to let go where you have to be open to transformation so the difficulty will come if you are not open to uh, you know embracing transformation or changes so approach everything with an open mind i think that is going to work well with you then i move on to the next sign of cancer so if you have a cancer ascendant or a cancer rising saturn is going to be retrograde in your 8th house saturn is the 8th lord Saturn is also the karka of the eighth house, so it governs the seventh and the eighth house in your case, the Marak Bhava and as uh, as well as the uh, eighth house, which is the uh, Malefic house as well, Saptamesh and Ashtamesh, and Saturn is going to become retrograde from the seventeenth of June till the fourth of November this year. so this is a period of about 140 days so here for you the key word is transformation be ready for changes around you be ready with the way you uh, you know handle finances there could be some ups and downs there could be some transformations for some it may be a good transformation for some it may be it may be a not so good uh, transformation that depends on your natal chart that depends on the kind of promise your natal chart holds for you dashas which you are undergoing but this is going to be a period of definite transformation for the cancer ascendant the way your relationship is with your spouse the way your marriage is going the way you are uh, you know relating to uh, people in your house especially your in-laws so all these things are going to undergo some change for those of you who are in the field of research astrology history archaeology all these things this might also be a period to uh, learn more because when saturn becomes retrograde the chesta bal increases it becomes stronger so the urge to learn more to delve uh, deeper into research into astrology into all these things connected with the 8th house that urge will become deeper 
so you may get deeper into all these things this will be a good period for growth also so be open for transformation be open to handling joint finances so uh, you have to be receptive uh, towards the other party towards your partner then i move on to the next sign of leo so if you have a leo ascendant or a leo rising saturn is going to be uh, turning retrograde in your 7th house from the 17th of june till the 4th of november for the leo ascendant saturn again is a very important planet because one it owns the kendra house that is the 7th house it also owns the 6th house which is the house of growth which is a upche bhav 6th house lord saturn becoming retrograde in the 7th house also gives rise to you know uh, you uh, coming up to lot of challenges around uh, yourself challenges specifically to your relationships your marriage so the way you uh, handle your marriage the way you work on your marriage the way your relationship is towards your partner you'll have to uh, reevaluate you'll have to rethink as to what kind of relationship do you have with your partner is it turning ugly how can you save it so if you are in a juncture where uh, things are not going so well for you this is a time period to make course correction work on your marriage work on your relationship with your spouse for those of you who are running a partnership business this may also be a good uh, chance to mend your relationship with your partner with your business partner and overall the focus is going to be towards relationships so be a little more humble be a little more compassionate towards other people towards people whom you deal with that is what saturn uh, would like to teach you also during this period right then moving on to the next uh, sign of virgo so if you have a virgo rising or a virgo ascendant that is virgo rises in the first house of your birth chart then saturn becomes retrograde in your 6th house Saturn is again an important planet for you because it is the fifth lord as well as the sixth lord. So it is a Trikona Swami as well, and it owns the sixth house also. So here, this is a good chance for you to redo your work schedule, redo your daily routine, and Saturn in the sixth house. is anyways a kind of good energy saturn uh, that is being a malefic planet sitting in the 6th house saturn is anyways the planet of uh, consistency of uh, effort of discipline so if you bring in discipline if you bring in consistency in your daily routine this energy even if it is not working in your favor starts turning in your favor right whenever we do any remedy also for something it is basically about the kind of changes which we bring within ourselves so saturn in the 6th house becoming retrograde tells you to redo your habits become more disciplined stick to a routine stick to a healthy routine so it works well for your mind body and spirit also uh for some in case your birth chart is uh, showing those kind of dashas this may also be a time of recurrence of any health issue or any legal issue which you were in right so this is a good opportunity to close any loops towards any medical issue so if you have any medical checkup which is pending or if there's a legal problem which you have faced which you've still not closed properly please go ahead and uh, you know close all the uh, loops close the chapters then the next sign is libra so if you have a libra ascendant or libra rising saturn is a yogakara planet for you 
it owns the fourth house as uh, well as the fifth house so a kendra as well as a trikona and it is becoming retrograde in the trikona house that is the fifth house so here the yoga karak becoming retrograde yes whatever it has to promise you whatever it has promised you the chances of you getting all that increases because the cheshta was uh, is also increasing that is the intention of saturn to give you something is also uh, on the rise during the retrogression period and what do you need to focus on over here you need to focus on your children your relationship with your children for those of you who are looking at you know who are trying for children who are trying for conception there could be some traction over here your relationship with your children what are you planning for them how are you bonding with them all these things can come into the uh, focus right so you can be working on all these things as well how are you expressing yourself creatively the fifth house is your intellect is your mental ability as well is the power of managing things around yourself so how are you using your skills how are you using your competencies around you so saturn will ask you to think about what is your real capability and how are you delivering uh, according to those capabilities also if there is something uh, forgotten or there was something which uh, you could not work on in terms of a romantic affair or a love interest chances are that uh, somebody comes back to you or there was a relationship which just went uh, silent for some time so there could be a chance of a relationship getting revived as well so listen to your heart and uh, do all the things you know whatever the fifth house represents work on those things so working on your relationship with your children your creativity your uh, romantic interests so a lot of other things also i mean each house represents so many other things as well so this is a time to revisit these things revisit your plans then moving on to the uh, next sign of scorpio so if you have a scorpio ascendant or a scorpio rising that means scorpio is the first sign in your birth chart it's falling in the first house of your birth chart then saturn is becoming retrograde in the fourth house uh, of your birth chart fourth house is the house of comforts is the house of rest recoup luxury your mother the uh, luxuries around you the comforts around you your immovable properties your vehicles also so here saturn asks you to reassess what gives you peace what are you at peace with right so listen to your heart fourth house is also the region with which represents your heart as well so listen to your heart listen to what is right for you so this is a time to focus on your mental peace make truce with the world around you right for some of you on the material side this will be an opportunity to uh, work on any property matter work on any uh, matter any uh, land related property related matter which was open till now which requires closures also a good time to spend uh, quality time with your mother if her health requires attention or if she has been falling sick off and on this is a time to uh, do all the medical checkups uh, and you know pay special attention to uh, her health as well then i move on to the next sign of sagittarius so if you are a sagittarius rising that means you have sagittarius as your lagna as the first sign in your horoscope 
then Saturn is becoming retrograde in the third house of your chart where the sign of Aquarius falls and Saturn is becoming retrograde in the nakshatra of Shatapisha, the nakshatra of healing, the nakshatra of 100 healers. Here Saturn tells you to work on the third house matters. That means to work on your communication. How do you connect with the world? Third house is your communication with the other world, with the other people rather. Right, so how are you presenting yourself? If you are in the field of media, TV, entertainment, anything, you know, where you are to communicate with other people, how is it? So you may like to revisit ways and find maybe new ways of connecting with people. Third house is also of your siblings, youngest siblings especially, of your new initiatives, of your neighbors. Third house is the bhav of parakram. So the kind of parakram or the courage you have. So Saturn tells you to be practical, to be realistic about taking up new things. So what can you do, what you cannot do, you'll have to skim through it. Right? So revisit your projects, revisit the things which you're doing. Revisit your relationship with your siblings. So if there's some mending required with your, uh, you know, uh, regarding your relationship with your siblings, then you've got to work on that as well. Work on your communication. Then I move on to the next sign of Capricorn. So for Capricorn, Saturn is the Lagnesh also. And it becomes retrograde in the second house. Second house of wealth, of family, finances. And from the 17th June till the 4th of November, that is a period of 140 days when Saturn remains in retrogression in your second house. So here, this is a time to revisit your finances, your wealth plans, wealth management. So you do have savings, you are investing them, but how are you managing it? How are you managing the accumulated wealth which you have? So Saturn may ask you to, uh, you know, redo uh, the investment plans, redo your family finances. So maybe new uh, ways of investment, new ways of saving can come into the picture and all in all saturn is going to make you uh, save more right so saturn will try to uh, in a way it will nudge you into uh, saving your material wealth so save by investing properly also if there are any uh, issues connected to family matters Within the family, if relationships are disturbed, that this is a time to uh, visit those matters and mend any family issues also over there. So if your speech requires correction, if uh, any family matter is uh, there, if there's any family problem because of finances, because of money, you'll have to relook at things and, uh, you know, correct, do a mid-course correction. Then the next sign of Aquarius. So if uh, you are an Aquarius rising or an Aquarius ascendant person, Saturn is your Lagnesh and the Lagnesh is becoming retrograde in the first house, in the Lagna itself. This is not going to be very easy because Saturn anyways is a planet of detachment. And within the Lagna, when Saturn becomes retrograde, that sense of detachment uh, can increase also for some people. That depends on your moon. That depends on other planets in your horoscope as well. But here, this is a wonderful opportunity, I would say, to uh, rethink about yourself, about your personality, your self-growth. 
the skills, the strengths, the weaknesses which you have. So do a SWOT analysis for yourself. So when I say SWOT analysis, it means working on your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, the threats, SWOT, right? So uh, use this technique, figure out, sit down with a pen and paper, sit down with your diary and see the kind of strengths and weaknesses which you have. What should you work on? What should you let go? What kind of opportunities can you make uh, use of in future? Right, so this is a period to uh, reassess things about yourself. And when you do so, there is a high chance that you feel a little isolated because you have to spend a lot of time with yourself. So introspection, self-study, self-examination is going to be the key. Then I move on to the next and the last sign of Pisces. So if you have a Pisces rising or a Pisces ascendant, Saturn is going to become retrograde in the 12th house for you from the 17th of June till the 4th of November, which is a period of 140 days. And it becomes retrograde in the nakshatra of Shatbisha. Shatbisha is a nakshatra of healing. It represents 100 healing uh, physicians. Right, so here, this is going to be a little tough period for you. Because here, Saturn is in the 12th house. 12th house is anyways the house of isolation of going away. And Saturn becomes retrograde over here. It doesn't have any other conjunction happening as well. So it is going to be alone itself over there. So this is a time where you might feel a little isolated or cut off. There could be many reasons for this. For some, it could be uh, that you're not getting along with people, not getting along with your spouse sometimes, not getting along with your family members. And that is the reason that you feel a little cut off. You feel a little lonely sometimes. For some, it may be a period of going away for work, staying away practically, physically. But this is going to be a time of isolation, physical or mental or emotional. And a wonderful time to focus on your spiritual growth. Twelfth house is the house which represents, it's, it's part of the moksha trine. So it represents your spiritual growth, your spirituality also. So Saturn becoming retrograde over here makes you focus on where you're spending your time, where you're spending your energy. What should you save on and what should you work on yourself? So if you need to spend time in, uh, you know, uh, in a retreat or uh, you want to pursue some spiritual practices under a guru, this is a wonderful opportunity. This is a wonderful period to do so. This will bring in healing for you as well. Those of you who have been falling sick or who are under constant medical care may also need revisiting a hospital, revisiting a caregiver again to heal themselves. Right. So that was all about the uh, 12 signs and the effect of the uh, retrogression of Saturn, which is going to last from uh, 17 June till 4th of November this year. Right, so that was my short analysis uh, about the uh, retrograde Saturn this year. Uh, do leave your uh, comments in the comment section. And in case you haven't subscribed, do remember to subscribe before you leave. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.